Wait, are Hayo savings making a comeback? Hey, welcome to Dow Stock Talk where I talk about topics relating to investing in finance, but more specifically the In this video, I'll be talking about high yield savings account. As we know, interest rates has been increasing, which means that banks or institutions can offer you a lot more money by parking your money in their savings account. A lot of times before I made a video in 2019, the rates was about 2%. And then once the interest rate went close to zero, then it was kind of pointless. But now, since interest rates are much higher, the banks and institutions can offer you a lot more money by parking your money in their account or their bank. And, and a lot of these are actually up to 3% now. So you have Robinhood, which is 3.75 APY. Of course, there's a catch. You have to have a gold member, and the gold member is $5. So if you had, didn't have a gold member, that wouldn't be like worth it. But they have Wealthfront, which is over 3%. They have Betterment, which is over 3%. They have Goldman Sachs, which is like 2.5. Personal Capital, that's over 3%. So they have a lot of ones that's pretty high. And I think if you already have one of these particular platforms, and I'll go over it in my computer so you can see each one. They have a lot of smaller banks that has way over 3%, but I would particularly only use ones that I already currently, currently have. They have ones from Discover, Alley, and don't worry, like I said, I'll go into it a little bit more on my computer. And I looked at them. All these ones are FDIC approved. Um, some of them up to 1.5 million. A lot of times, the reason how they can offer high yield savings accounts higher than the traditional banks is because they have less overhead. So a lot of times you don't actually go to a physical bank. But they have it now where you can even use the card. So it's very easy to access your money. There's like no penalties or anything like that. So as far as liquidity, it's like really ideal. And like I said, anything I think over 2.5, you need 2.5. It's kind of just worth parking. Maybe with your like traditional banks and stuff like that. Bank of America and stuff like that. Of course, they offer a lower amount. But if we can get a 2.5 just by parking your money, you have easy access to it, I think it's now worth considering. Now, like I said, I'll go over each particular one from, and like I said, they have a large selection to choose from. And a lot of times in order to give people incentives, that's not banks, like a brokerage account, in order to get people to put you put their money in their particular platform, what they'll do is offer competitive rates. And that's why we're seeing these 3% here, 3% here, because everyone's kind of fighting over, they want the money on their particular platform. Now, like I said, a lot of times these uh, reason why they're so high is because interest rates are high. So the higher the interest rates go, the more money that they can pay you for your, parking your money on their platforms because, of course, they loan the money out. And you already know how banks and stuff uh, works. And a lot of times the institutions, like especially the investment platform institutions, they're able to insure the money because they have a partner program with the bank. And sometimes what they'll do is partner with multiple banks so they can give you an insurance of the $1.5 uh, million. Like I said, a lot of these, I made sure they're FDIC approved, no minimum. These rates kind of change each month. So if the interest rates and stuff went up, then you can also, they'll probably boost it up. Especially if you needed the money, maybe a couple months or something like that, or you're just kind of waiting for uh, you know an investment or you're having a house. These parking your money here, I don't see it. To me, it's like a win-win. And of course, you're going to invest into stocks and stuff that's, that's different. I definitely think it's we should really kind of consider it now since they're coming over 3%. That's really nice to for what you consider risk-free an investment, just having it on your high-yield savings account. Of course, you would have to trust the brokerage account. But let's waste no time. Let's jump onto my computer. Okay, guys, some of the actually rates, since I actually said it earlier on, kind of changed. And I'm just going to kind of go over the ones that I feel like a lot of people may be familiar with. I also go over the, the smaller banks and different types of 
institutions that a lot of people might use and the higher the ones with the one of the higher rates this is Wealthfront theirs is 15x more than the national average they have three the rate is 3.30 APY everything is zero account fees unlimited fee free transfer transfer in minutes FDIC approved up to two uh, million dollars FDIC approved and what happened is they partnered with banks and they partnered with multiple banks so that they can get the two million FDIC now another one we particularly know is personal capital they just recently updated their numbers as effectively November 8th to 3.35 APY so now I remember early on I said 2.5 now since I'm looking at these rates I'm looking for something three or better now this one, remember I said Robinhood is the 3.75% APY, which is 23 times the, um, av the regular average. But you gotta remember, you have to be a gold member. So if you were a gold member, I think this is smart. But if you're not a gold member, gold member costs $5 a month. If you don't already have a gold member, I wouldn't necessarily go with this. But if you already have one, you already use the platform, put the you know, extra money you have in cash, and the, the the cash management account whatever they particularly call so next up we've seen capital one there is uh, zero fees no minimum savings rate rate is 3.00 APY so that's a nice one as well we have betterment which is an investing platform so by the way well well front is an investing platform as well um, but better betterment has a 3.20 APY so for me if you use any of these platforms and it's like three or above I would just kind of go with that one or you can use multiple ones to kind of spread it out this one is 15 times the national average these rates is like I'm trying to tell you these are really good you're talking about just being able to park it in a savings account um, especially if you just might need the money within a month or two a couple months or something like that I think this is um uh, flexible how often can you move money no fees you can withdraw within one to two business days man this is easy money folks I'm kind of getting excited here now this was the one I pulled up the site best high yield savings account in November 2022 we had the capital one 3.0 uh, so 3.0 um, Goldman Sachs 3.0 now let's also um, this is the discover 5x times the natural 2.75 I'm anticipating that they're going to push that up to three as well. As you can see, the traditional bank, Chase, Citibank, Bank of America, all particularly low. But a lot of these institutions are really trying to compete to have the money on that particular platform. Alley right now is, um, I believe, let's see what Alley is. Alley right now is 2.5. I think they're going to increase that to 2.75 just based off the competition. It's only a matter of time as long as these interest rates stay high. No monthly fees. You can earn money. FDIC approved 24 7 support, call, chat, or email. So, like I said, man, this is easy money. This one is if you guys like traditional banks, Goldman Sachs, they just updated this number 3.00 APY. I mean, it's it's looking really nice. You can schedule transfer into and out of payments, review transactions, our interest, and all of that. I'm trying to go over all the hot ones. Um, as far as these, I think I covered this one, but these are some other ones. SoFi 3.0, uh, Goldman Sachs 3.0, Discover 2.75. Uh, even lending club I necessarily don't care for that one too much um, now we can if you had American Express that one's at 250 uh, 2.50 percent APY if you had these particular platforms I'm just kind of going over the uh, popular ones so far 3.3.0 APY no account fees now if you look at if you're interested in like the one the highest ones but maybe a smaller banks or smaller banks you're not necessarily be familiar with these ones may have a, a different minimum but these were some other ones uh site bank 3.25 um, these were some other smaller ones and I'll drop it in the link but these like yes said, these one the best savers these are like smaller ones that smaller banks but if you have any of these I'll have these in the um, comments below also e-trade e-trade if you have to use the platform investing platform e-trade earn up to rates 
premium savings account from Morgan Stanley Private Bank earn up to raise 3.25% APY. I have a lot of my investments in E-Trade 15 times national national average. So I will like probably going to park a lot of my money that I just have in cash into their uh, premium savings accounts. So once again, I'll drop all these particular links. Remember, these can change based off of the interest rates. So if interest rates continue going up, I'm assuming that the the rate that they offer customers will go up as well i think this is easy money after seeing this i was kind of super excited if you have any questions or concerns drop it in the comments below but that concludes down stock talk let me know what you think about the high yield savings account if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button if you're new make sure you subscribe to my channel ah.